All right. Hey, everyone. I am just going to double check here that we are live. All right. So I am Laura Reich of Envision Advertising. I am a social media manager, graphic designer, and virtual assistant. So what that means for you is I help solopreneurs focus on how to be successful in the online marketing world without breaking the bank to do so. So I've had a number of people come to me this past week or so and want to know what to do because they are very frantic about the fact that their ad account has been disabled. And I understand for many of you that can be very frustrating. If you have found that sweet spot with Facebook ads and you were getting tons of leads or it was growing your business and then all of a sudden it gets shut down, it's kind of nerve wracking and it's kind of frustrating. So I totally understand. Um, so what I'm going to do today is go through a few things. I also wrote a blog post about it that did post live today um, with links and more information, but I thought it would be nice to um, just go over what everyone is um, going to need to do if this comes up for you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to flip my screen. I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller here and turn on my video display for my desktop. So this is one of my Facebook pages. And what I'm going to tell you first is I actually highly recommend that if you are not already on um, Facebook Business Manager that you get your Facebook page on Facebook Business Manager. Um, this is something I really believe is extremely helpful not only from the analytics side and the management side, say if you have a virtual assistant you hire or something like that, um, but I really feel like this is the first initial step that a lot of people forget when they come into managing a Facebook page. So what it is, is um, this is business for Facebook. And um, so I have a couple different business managers that as a virtual assistant, I manage for people, but this is what it looks like. And so you get an account overview of different pages that you're working on. You get all these tools here across the board for your ads account, um, different pages that you're working on, your pixels for your ads, things like that. Um, so it's very nicely laid out. It's not hard to work with, um, but I do suggest that be something that you guys actually get into. Um, so this is what a Facebook page looks like prior to going um, to the business manager. Once you've had a Facebook page, you don't need to start all over to be on Business Manager. You just need to say, yes, please let me go to Business Manager. So when you go to business.facebook.com, it will actually teach you how to, um, or walk you through how to do that. So um, one of the posts that I have in here is getting started on Facebook Business Manager. This is a blog post that I posted that will walk you through step by step how to actually switch your account over and the benefits of doing so. So if you have not done that for step one, I highly suggest that you go to um, Business Manager first. So this will just kind of walk you through and I show you different screenshots of how to get it set up and um, why you should do so. So that is step one. Um, my then next step is dealing with the source problem, the disabled account. And so um, in my blog post that went live this morning, I talk about how um, you need to then work on three things. Um, there is a main thing that I talk about is um, when you go through your appeals. When you go through your appeals, I highly, highly, highly suggest not only one, that you are over the top nice to anybody that you speak with. Um, I know you're frustrated, but we all know that honestly, 
getting an attitude or being rude or anything gets us nowhere. They're a human being. It's not their specific fault that your ad account got disabled. So just be nice. Um, give them the benefit of the doubt. Try to figure out why, you know, ask questions. Just be super, super nice. But first and foremost, before that, only appeal your account once. If you try to appeal your account more than once, um, you're probably going to irritate them. There's a possibility that it's going to keep getting shoved down further and further because the same account is going to be listed. So when you resubmit, if 50 other people had resubmitted between when you submitted yesterday and today, you're going to be put down to the bottom of those 50 people because now you resubmitted and they're going to conjuncture the two together. So make sure that you only appeal once. Don't make a big deal out of it. They did get your appeal. It does take them time. You do need to be patient. Um, so this is what I link in the blog post. This is the specific link to um, appeal your disabled account. It, it, you want to include photos of what happened. Um, you want to be very specific in any of your explanations or comments on what's going on with the account. This is going to help them understand what's going on. This is going to help them get you back to an enabled ad account if they so feel that you are rightfully um, allowed to do so. Keep in mind, they may say, nope, I'm sorry, we're still going to keep the account disabled. That is a possibility. Um, so appeal once, be super, super nice. This is the appeal form. Again, you can find it on my Facebook um, or on my blog post here that um, gives you the actual link to fill that out. It will take about 10 days or more. Um, so then if they do say that it's okay and they find that you should be able to reactivate your account, um, it will take at least 10 days, I would say. So be patient um, and then they will reactivate it if it is um, something that they feel is okay to do. If they still feel that they don't think they were in the wrong and they're gonna keep your ad account disabled, um, my suggestion then is connect to another account. Don't do this on a back-to-back -back basis. Um, be very slow in your process with this. Um, one of the things that I talk about is um, you, I do not suggest doing um, this before you have put your appeals through or before you have talked to someone because I do not want you to get um, frustrated or I do not want them to feel like you're just spamming them to try to set up multiple accounts. So you can connect another account. Be slow in your actions to this. I walk through how to connect another account in my blog post as well. But my suggestion to you is once you have your business manager ad account set up or your business manager Facebook page switched over to the business manager, you will be able to actually put your ads account under the business account. And that's where it should be first and foremost. Anyway, if you're doing this for a business, it shouldn't be under your personal name. It should be under a business name um, or your doing business as name. Um, so go ahead and, and connect that account and get that started. Then my final suggestion to you, this is um, the business help page. They do have a lot of information here where you can read through. If you are setting up um, another account, please do read through the instructions.